Okay, it's the morning mess. It's time for another staycation setup. So our girl Ashley thinks her man's cheating after our best friend caught him with another woman. Ashley? We think so. So uh, my best friend Catherine has it out for my boyfriend, Justin. We've been dating for five months. And she swears. She swears she saw him at the restaurant with another girl that she was at. Whoa. Why do you think she's lying? I mean, the thing is this. Why didn't she get any pictures? She was there at the restaurant with him. Like, as my friend, if she oh. thinks he was with another go- girl, he should she should have taken a picture. I want proof. I can't just take some random word at it. No, that's a good point. Like, I would expect that. We all have cameras on our phones. Like, it'd be pretty easy to just, like, open up the camera app and real quick just snap a photo. So she didn't send you a picture? Nope, nothing. She didn't send me a photo. And I feel like maybe she mistook it. And I don't want to blame him for something that he d- maybe didn't do. Okay, so here's the thing with that. So if she's your best friend, normally you'd want to take her word for it. Is there any part of you that thinks that maybe your best friend likes your man? And that's why she wants you guys to break up so bad. I would really, I, I don't, I don't even know what to make of the situation. That's <laughs> yeah. To be honest. Yeah. Or she's just hating on your happiness. She's single. Well, hopefully she's not <laughs> hating on your happiness. Oh. And at least you can trust your friend, hopefully. But I guess we'll find out. That's why you're here. Yeah, you got to get rid of somebody here. Either your friend for her dumbass not taking the picture, you know, because that's what you're supposed to do. You see somebody out and they're cheating on your best friend. Take the picture for proof. Or if he's cheating on you, then you get rid of him. So what we'll do is a staycation set up. Miss Ashley, call him up. Ask him who he wants to put on a reservation because we're going to tell him that he's won a free romantic hotel stay. Hopefully he says your name. If not, then uh, we'll give you the show. Sounds good. All right. Uh, we're going to see if Justin's cheating on his girl, Ashley. Saw love next. By the way, Justin? Mm-hmm. No, it's not a cheater's name. It's a great name. It's a good family name. If you're thinking of calling, <laughs> okay. you're pregnant, looking for a good name. Justin's a good name. Also a cheater's name. Uh, oh, uh, up next, Joey. morning mess. Okay, it's the morning mess in the middle of staycation set up. What would you do if your best friend told you that they saw your person out with somebody else? Because that's what happened with Ashley. Ashley, your best friend told you that she swore she saw your man Justin out with another girl. She sure did, but she didn't give me any proof, so... Yeah, so she's an idiot. But I mean, like, was there anything else? Like, she just didn't take a picture. Like, did you confront your man about this? No, I mean, you, I felt like, how could I? What if He could just deny it. I've got no facts or nothing really saying that he is, so I wasn't really sure. You want to catch him red-handed? Mm-hmm. Let's see what these hands have been. We're going to do the staycation setup. Call him up. Tell him he's won a free romantic hotel stay. See who he wants to put on this hotel reservation. Obviously, we want him to say your name, Ashley. If not, we're going to give you this show, okay? Sounds good. We ready, gang? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's give Justin a call. Hello? Hello. Am I speaking with Justin? Yeah, this is Justin. Good morning, Justin. My name is Jonathan calling from the Aurora Hotel. Got some great news. You've been selected as the grand prize winner of our free romantic weekend giveaway here. We're putting you up in our penthouse suite with the honeymoon package. Calling just to confirm details, but I want to congratulate you because you are the winner. Wait, what are you talking about? I'm talking about how this is a free romantic weekend stay that we were doing a giveaway for. You've been selected as the grand prize winner, so I was calling to congratulate you and see if we could set your reservation up. Okay, so it's free and it's romantic is what you're saying? That is correct. Now, we are going to ask for a review of your experience on Google and Yelp in return for the stay. It's just a partnership thing that we're doing. But outside of that, there's no deposits, fees, or taxes. So if you're okay, then we can continue with the reservation. Okay, yeah. Okay, Justin, thank you so much. So with this free romantic weekend stay, we start this off with a personalized note. It goes from you to your guest of honor for the romantic weekend. I have some room here for you to write a custom message. I want to give you all the time that you need to think about what you'd like that note to say. Just let me know when you're ready. Uh, put, just put, uh, it's just you and me, babe. I have that down here. My next question is, who would you like to bring on this free romantic weekend stay? I need your guest of honor's full name for us to continue. Yeah, could you just put down, uh, Ruby? You just eating like Ruby? Wait, wait, what? Hey, hey, Justin. Yeah, so legally, really quick, we gotta let you know you're live on the radio. We're the morning mess. We're a radio show with your girlfriend, Ashley, on the line. Oh, my f- God. I cannot believe you. My best friend did not to warn me about your ass. I knew it. I knew I should have just listened to her in the first place. Oh, my God. Here we go with this cat. Why do I always have to hear about this woman all the f- time? Who cares what she thinks? Well, she was right, so we care. Yeah, who the hell's Ruby? Like, don't even sweat the like. The def, the, this is this is ridiculous. Like, I can't believe I'm like, getting 
ambushed like this. Really? You want to take another woman to a hotel? Are you really trying to do this to me? Please stop, Ash. She's she's drama. She's the only reason you're mad in the first what place. The hell? You who are cares? on her. You need to. Who the hell is Ruby? Who cares about this other person? Really, really, someone. You're the one calling me up with all these hotel people like a full crazy Listen. person yelling about Catherine. So, Justin, oh, we're not even talking about Catherine. We're not talking about, we're talking about Ruby. Who is Ruby? She was just like an a, a, a old friend of mine. What did he write on that note? He said, it's just you and me, babe. And I'm pretty sure I said this was a romantic weekend like five times. And he clarified. I remember you asking that question. Mm-hmm. No, nah, this is this is bullshit. <laughs> like, the fact that you're like, we never had any issues before that. You start letting that cat <laughs> butt into our business. <laughs> you never that- had any issues until you got caught cheating. Yeah, mm-hmm. that makes sense. Just hang up on it. Please. He's such a And now everybody knows it. Any last words, Justin? Just this is bullshit. Like, I can't believe, like, she had... All right, that's enough. All right, nice talking to you. Okay, bye. (laughs) Stupid. Okay, so Ashley, he is, um, he's stuck on stupid, obviously. And do you know who Ruby is? No, I don't know who Ruby is. I don't want to know who she is. Honestly, his ass is on blast. I hope she heard this. Well, the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody. You know that, right? (laughs) I'll download Tinder now. Oh, okay. Is it another one you swipe right, swipe left? Yeah. 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 On all of them. All of them you swipe now? Um, do you? No. Bumble? No. Okay. I'll okay. Shut some up. of them. <laughs> shut up, Gina. <laughs> <laughs> Me and you don't yes. know these things. Tell us about I the did. dating <laughs> apps, <Yeah>. Gina. <laughs> all right. Gina's going to shut up. I'm so, going home. Ashley. Uh, yeah, Tinder. Whatever you need to do. Where did you meet this guy, by the way? Where did you meet uh, this, this loser Justin at? We had mutual friends. I thought he was going to be a good guy, a good catch. Right. My friend, she she never liked him. She always straight from the get go, and she swore she saw him out. I should have, I should have just taken her word, you know. Right. But or you could take her out. It's Pride Month. You know what I mean? You ever try to get at your girl? Oh my god! Sometimes you got to earn that liquor license. <sighs> You gotta, you gotta know it. No. It's Pride Month. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> Is it though? No, it's not. Ashley, you ever had some thoughts about Catherine? <laughs> we might have kissed once in college. But, you kissed once in college? <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, you know what to say about I that. Mean, hey, I'm, gonna, I, I'm not going to chase him. I am going to replace this. So I don't care. There you go. <laughs> don't chase him. Replace him. Yep. Boom. We love it. I think Jay-Z said that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, good luck replacing him with your best friend, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know how that second kiss goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, thank you guys so much. There you go. Right. Do you use tongue? Shut up! <laughs> this month on the 11th. I love the way you walk. I love it when you're really goofy on the phone and you sing everything. Carvel and Rasham live on opposite sides of the country. They're both writers. They're both parents. So... They find ways to talk about their love whenever they can. I really love your voice. They shared their letters and voice memos with us. That's this month on the 11th. Listen now on Odyssey, Apple, or wherever you get your podcast.